Hi everybody, uh, I just wanted to show you a little trick that I learned recently about password protecting your files in Google Drive using Google Forms. Uh, now, first off, this is kind of a long video. There's a lot of steps that go into this, um, but it's all pretty logical. Unfortunately, since there's so many steps, I really can't shorten this. Uh, and as always, if you miss something, because I might be talking a little faster than normal in this video, by all means, just go back and rewatch it. Uh, but this whole idea of password protecting your files, this isn't so much of a security thing as it is uh, like a fun kind of uh, scavenger hunt type breakout EDU type thing. So the first step is to put your file into Google Drive, which I've uploaded this picture file here. It can be any file you want, totally fine. Um, and if you're not sure how to upload a file to Google Drive, by all means, there's the tile up in the upper right hand corner. Click on that, go check out the video, life is good. So once it's here, you want to share it. Uh, and again, if you're not familiar with sharing, oh, there's another tile. Uh, you wanna make sure that you share this so that anyone with the link can view it. That's the whole idea. So I'm going to uh, click and either click the little share guy or I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say share. And I, I don't wanna enter email address. So again, I'm gonna click get shareable link and that's gonna bring this up. I wanna get it outside so that really anyone, even people outside my domain can see it. So I'm gonna click here and again, I'll say more. We'll say anyone with the link can view. Good, that's exactly what I want. So this is the link that I need to copy and I can do that by, haha, copy link, yeah! Good, first part's done. Now what you need to do is go and make a Google form. So I can click on new, say more and Google forms and you can title this whatever you want uh, maybe i'll call it secret file yeah oh i'll spell it right though file yeah and this is where i'm going to ask what is the password and you notice it snapped it into a short answer question which is neat google forms is kind of starting to get a little intuitive in that regard it's it's a little ai um but I want to have them enter in the password, which I'm going to make password for this. You know, you can make it whatever you want, uh, but you do want to make it a required question is the first part. And the way you're going to make the password is by clicking these three little buttons here in the bottom right hand corner and selecting data validation. Right, that brings up this little section down here. And this is where I'm going to put what the correct answer needs to be. So I'm going to, I can do a number, I can do a text. I don't know if I necessarily get into length and regular expression, but in this case, I'm gonna make it text. It's going to contain password. The custom error text, this is actually really important. This is what's going to show up on the form when your students answer it incorrectly. You really want to put something here because if you don't, it's possible that when they don't enter the right word or the right uh, passcode, password, your password will show up on the screen. So you want to put something in here even if it's as simple as nope. Now the other suggestion, I would say all caps because you want them to write it in capital letters. So I'm also gonna make that a description just to keep them from potentially making a mistake. Um, write the password in all caps. Great. So again, the way I made that password happen was with data validation. I can make it be a text, I can make it be a number, whatever the heck I want it to be. Great, now my Google Form is set to go. The next step is to go to the settings of Google Form. You can set this to be however you want, You know, open it up to everybody. But under the presentation tab, right, the middle tab, um, I'm gonna say no, you cannot submit another response. This confirmation message, if you've ever used or taken a Google form before, you know at the end it has some nice little thing that in this case says, your response has been recorded. That's great, I'm gonna replace that and say, congrats, you can find the secret file here. And I'm now going to paste in that link. What link? Oh, you remember the link when we got from sharing? Yeah, that goes in here. And I'm gonna say save. And now you're good to send this out to your students by email, Twitter, Schoology, whatever the heck you're gonna do. Um, and let's see what it looks like from their side. Remember the password was password. So when they follow that link, they'll see this form. Right? It says, what's the password? And if they say, let me in, it says no. Right? That's that whole data validation where it's saying that's not the right answer. And if I say password, whoops, it says no, because it's gotta be all caps. Pass, 
I can't spell. Word. Ooh. Notice the data validation went away and I can hit submit. If I try to hit submit here, nothing happens. So it's got to be right password. That lets me through to that confirmation message. And there's my link. And when I click on that link, wow, hi, it takes me to the file. So kind of the way we see this working is once your students get to here and they enter in the password, you could put any sort of file you want here. This link could direct them to a PDF page. It could direct them to another Google form. Uh, it could direct them to a Google Doc, anything, anything that you have, but maybe that has the next clue. So you can kind of think of this as a uh, scavenger hunt. You could even take it as far as maybe it, uh, it takes them to a Google Doc that says, go to the library and find the book with the Dewey Decimal number, blah, 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 and enter in the author's last name. Right, so it kind of gets them thinking and gets them working. So it's pretty fun. A little complicated, but once you do it a couple times, it really, really makes sense. And I think it can be super useful. So I hope you have fun with it. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to either Taylor or myself.